Good evening, everyone. Welcome back to another late night here on the East Coast. How y'all doing? Hopefully pretty good. Well, it's Blood Bowl, baby. It's been a while. It has. Uh, they got the new one coming out. We got Blood Bowl 2 Legendary Edition, which is a little bit interesting. So they had, um, in the video game sense, they had Blood Bowl, Blood Bowl Legendary Edition, and Blood Bowl Chaos Edition was the newest one before they did the sequels. Um, so I'm not sure if we're going to be getting a Blood Bowl 2 Chaos Edition, because they are doing the Legendary Edition, but it's kind of weird because they're already doing, like, DLC armies, um, I don't know. I'm not really sure how they're going to go about that, but, I mean, hey, I'm happy with it. <laughs> I, I just like me some Blood Bowl. So we are going to be doing a little bit of a throwback here. It's been a while since i played Norse. Uh... Not my favorite faction, but they they look awesome. They feel very thematic, very much them Viking berserkers and stuff like that. And everybody loves that. It's a lot of fun to cheer for. But um, our old team used to be the Fighting Norse, I believe. Fighting Norsemen? Or is it Fighting Norse or the Fighting Norsemen? He was fighting Norsemen like the Flying Dutchman. It was like a bit of a joke. Team Motto? Hmm. Uh, let's crack open a few old ones. Eh? That's a... It's pretty good there. Let's see what we got going on. Okay, I already, I'm already in love with this picture here. I mean, this one's great. The Black Eye... The things. Th this is just incredible, though. I have no idea. This is like um, uh, that uh, William Shatner thing, where it's like you know, young sinewy bodies make love to that mountain. This is what that reminds me of. That Norseman is making love to that mountain. There's no other way around that. And some pretty good ones here, actually. I'm surprised. I think we're gonna stick with. This is a tough one here. You got this guy and you got this guy. I think we gotta go with it, right? You know, that's clearly the one I like the best. But... Wow. Wow. Um, okay, the Blood Rage paint scheme. I mean, that's, that's solid. That's decent. This, though. Wow. That is a paint scheme. I, I mean, I kind of like it, but... See what else we got to work with. Okay, we got like Canadian Norse. I can get behind that. Yeah, that's. I mean, that's just classy. Let's see what else we got going. Checkers. Yeah. Oh, we certainly have some options anyway. Not really feeling that one there. Hmm. Yeah, that's not bad. I think. I mean, I want to. Maybe we go with the Blood Rage here, though. I'm not like red and green aren't the greatest colors to use together. Uh, I would have preferred like some red and orange. This is fun. Get a little bit of Canada going on. Maybe we do that. We can, we can rename this then. Hang on. We can do the Great White Norse. Eh? That's good, I like that. Forbidden word. What, you can't say white? It's gotta be white. Yo, what, uh, hang on. Let's see, if I, let's see if I can put... I don't know, is this game racist all of a sudden? What? Really? That's so surprising. Um, well, let's go back to the fighting Norsemen. Oh. Maybe crack. Well, let's try great white Norse. Let's um, not crack. What's a synonym here? Um, let's... I mean, we... <laughs> Break open? Oh, great white Norse. I mean, that's that's fair enough. 
We'll stick with the fighting Norsemen then. Doesn't super matter. So where do we want to go to today? Dark Elf Stadium looks kind of nice, actually. I think this is more Norsey though. The old world. It's kind of boring. Maybe we'll just go with the Badlands. Go with the Orc Stadium. I like it. It's a lot of fun. We call this. We'll call this the the Great White Norse if we wanted to. So no, I would not like automatic roster. So this is one thing I've spent actually quite a bit of time, probably about 20 minutes before the stream trying to figure out is how I want the team to play. Is it's a tough one with Norse. The thing with Norse is you kind of want to hit that sweet four rerolls thing because they're not a great team. Um, they have block on a lot of their positionals. Well, I mean, they're linemen. We got them on the runners, the throwers, the berserkers. Um, I don't have them on these two guys, but still, like, they have a block on a lot of their units. It's just they don't have great stats. So what does that mean? Well, if I want to pick up the ball, um, not great. I don't have a lot of four strength units, so we're going to be rolling a lot of hopefully two die blocks, but you never know. And even so, a two die block, not great six movement so you know maybe you want a gfi on occasion it's another die roll you're not going to be dodging out too often with ag3 it's interesting you know um i certainly when whenever i play a team like this actually so long time ago we played um or i played rather norse with a um i did like aars essentially and i would like type up stuff and then email it and post it on forums and people would follow along with the the conquest uh, it was a lot of fun but i found that almost impossible to get them to pick up the ball i don't know terrible luck uh, much like actually our necromantic team i believe we were having just like the worst luck with picking up the ball with our uh, ghouls no idea why <sighs> that said so here's here's the pickle with norse Here's what you're really going to ask yourself. How low do you have this? And do you get the Apothecary? You want the Apothecary. You always want the Apothecary. But the thing is, like, this guy right here. You probably want to start with four rerolls because of that. The thing is, if you start with four rerolls, you'll notice they're 60k each. We, um... We kind of get left with... Not a lot of money to buy the things we want. Things you really want, like you basically have to start with your two werewolves or your Ulf Werenner. Um, I mean, technically you don't. They don't have block, but they are strength four. They are your AV8 unit. Uh, the troll also has it, but everyone else AV7, so they're squishy as shit. Which is kind of interesting because it turns the Norse into a glass cannon type of group. Um, they're meant to like hit hard, but they don't have you know, the armor to back it up, which is fine. It leads for some interesting plays. Um, for that reason, actually, I hope they bring the uh, corn team in the game. But anyway, so the thing is you want these two guys. So we know for sure, yes, we're going to want two. Do we call them Scald Hagwin? No, definitely not, especially not Scald of the Sea. Who does that? It's always a K, isn't it? I don't know. But I think this will be Mr. Origami because well, obvious reasons. Uh, we're not. <laughs> Let's see, how Teen Wolf can we make this here? We've got a couple head options. Uh, literally a couple. Uh, I think we'll have Origami be the short-haired mustache one. That looks terrible. I didn't buy that. And we'll make our second one here. Hmm, let's see, who else in our chat reminds me of a werewolf? Well, Frost Cookies um, not only is cold, but he reminds me of a werewolf because he's from Australia, and they probably have those there. So I think that's legit. Now we're left with the really tricky stuff. We have two werewolves. 
we can't buy two berserkers <laughs> which you want again it's so the thing about blood bowl the it's this weird sort of catch 22 right you want to start with as many of your good units you know what i mean like the berserker the werewolf and stuff early because they're going to level up early on frost cookies the abominable confectionery there's something to be said for making them our yeti uh, but i don't know if we're going to be getting a yeti you can start with a yeti it's affordable it's just a case of like do i want to start with a yeti not really and we may never even pick one up because i hate wild animal as a trait i think so anyway uh, nope, wild animal's fine. I was thinking of very stupid. Wild animal's actually pretty good. Something you said for this guy. But I think he's something we pick up down the road. That's right, Zelfis. Norsemen, yeah, yeah. We're going there. Um, probably just going to be playing this team offline, because again, Norse aren't very good. I don't mind playing them online eventually, but I haven't played Blood Bowl in so long. Um, and what I'm really hoping, I'm like, I'm sort of telling myself, if I buy Blood Bowl 2, which, or, well, Legendary Edition, which I probably will because, you know, I like Cyanide as a company. Um, I also don't mind it as a chemical. But um, I'm also, you know, a big Blood Bowl fan. So, no, you cannot transfer a single player roster to a multiplayer roster. No. That'd be, that'd be ridiculous. <laughs> um, but, so my plan is if I get Legendary Edition then I will like force myself to play online because ultimately that is where more of the fun is. It's just, there are bad players online and there's bad luck online, but there's really good players online. And the trick about playing Blood Bowl is when you play online, it tends to go pretty quickly, the turns, because uh, there's a turn timer and stuff. Otherwise, like the games take ages. And especially when you're like streaming it and you're trying to like cast it and talk about it and explain what you're doing, it kind of sucks because it goes like super quick. It's a little bit hard to do that. So here's here's my thing though. If we take three re-rolls, I was doing the math for like 20 minutes, like I said. We take three re-rolls instead of four and we don't take the apothecary. I can get the two berserkers at the start, which means we can start leveling them up early on. They're very good units. Um, and ultimately you'd rather always have a berserker over a line. So there's that. Problem is, rerolls are going to be more expensive after team creation. It's going to take us a long time to be able to afford a reroll. And we don't have an apothecary if the first game goes bad, which it probably will because we're dealing with armor 7. That said, I think I'm going to do it anyway. Let's go ahead. We'll get Zelfis in here. I mean. Let's see, which, which of these. The Zelt. Wow. Probably the first. Wow, is that Lemmy? <laughs> Reminds me of Lemmy. Either way. I think Zelfis is probably this guy. None of them are like your hair color or anything, but yeah. And we'll get Borod in here. We'll make him. He's got to have red hair, right? Yeah, I'm liking this one. He looks like kind of emo goth. He looks sad. He's salty. I'm feeling it. We're gonna get Rudy as a wow. Woo! Uh, okay, let's get Rudy over here showing off. Kind of want to call this Astro, but uh, that's fine. So your runner is actually a pretty interesting unit. We'll talk about why he's really good later. Uh, we're not gonna be able to afford any throwers, so. Oops. Guess we could name these guys, eh? Let's get Dr. Acceleron. Ooh. I can't... Oh, that's annoying. I can't um, move them down here. That's fine. Actually, I wonder... Can I... Oh, we can get three rerolls here, I think. Okay, so this is what I wanted to do, sorry. So this is a slot for a runner, two throwers. I don't think we're ever going to buy a Yeti. So we want to do it like this. Just makes it a little bit neater. And let's just plan a little better. Acceler this kind of looks acceleron -y. I'm feeling it. 
that work? No. Let's see, it's not it's not gonna work properly. It's unfortunate because you can't drag them. Oh well. We'll deal with it. Let's go ahead and get we want. Well, I'm kind of feeling Silas. Being around, he's a pretty cool guy. I'd feel in that look for him. Kind of want to have um, NY Yanks. Do Norse and Doors get a bonus for attacking? Sorry, a bonus for putting a mace on the end of the Wicked Beards and Mutton Chops? No, that'd be sick, yeah. Whoa, do you guys see that head? I need that guy in my crew. This guy. Wow, Finstein. What a name. What a frickin' name. Um, where was I, though? Gold War Page. Yeah, well, this can go ahead and... can't remember that person's name. Fox? Fox is always around. I know, I know it's Fox something. Fox... I think it's API, because it always reminds me of, like, modding APIs. Pickles the drummer, yeah, totally. You know, you, you could definitely do like a uh, Death Clock themed Norse team. That would be sick. Especially with names like Ulfgear. <laughs> so which is, which is one we don't have? I think we have this one. I don't think we have this one, though. That looks pretty good. And then we need... Who else comes around? Sun Gif. Which is actually Sun Nif. And I never pronounced the second N. I don't know why. Or Sungiv. Perfect. Yeah, we got 30k left. Which means 20k away from buying our next apothecary. And by that, I mean the only apothecary. So if anyone gets injured in the first game, you're screwed. I have literally nothing I can do to help you. There we go. Fighting Norsemen. Go ahead and do a... Uh, play in the league, yeah. Let's try and find our team amidst the million other teams I have. Here we go. Ah, join the league. Solo. I want to do... I really like the big ones. So, round robin, four groups, four teams, and then a final knockout tournament. That sounds good. I like that. One group, eight teams. Now we'll try this one here. Because I really like the persistent league things. The bright Seahawks. Okay, well. Uh, the Seahawks did quite good this year, as far as I recall. So that's a little unnerving. <sighs> High elves really suck to play against, period. Uh, they're very good. But, they may be very good, and they might have extremely high armor, but they have no people with block at the start. And we are the team that has the most block? Maybe, I think dwarves might have us beat there. But dwarves and Norse have the most block, so. That's very good. Means we can be a little bit more aggressive, we just probably won't hurt them. And if they get a good hit on us, we're gonna die. Uh, and they're also going to be, like, dancing around us and stuff like that, which kind of sucks, but yeah. <laughs> I'm super excited, though, for Petty Cash 30,000. Won't buy us anything. I'm super excited, though, for Legendary Edition because they're adding some of my favorite teams. Goblins? Yes. Amazons? Yes. And Underworld? Triple yes. So, really excited to see those come back. Underworld's a really fun team because you basically play as, like, Skaven if they had full access to mutations. Um, and then you also get goblins on your team. It's great. You don't have, like, super gutter runners, but it's okay. Uh, it's, it's like, a high-risk, high-reward, well, medium-high-reward team. <laughs> but they're a lot of fun. Turnover rate is insane, though. Ah, the bright Seahawks. Mmm. And then I'm, I really like goblin teams because they're just ridiculous. Um, they're the team that's supposed to lose, but if you have like really good RNG, you pull like insane things. 
which is crazy. Um, they're a lot more luck based though. Nice, looking good. Rudy puffing his chest there. Excellent. And then Amazons, they're just like a really good team. Um, the thing about Amazons though is they're super good early and they're a lot of fun to play, but they end up like tapering off like really quickly. A little bit unfortunate, but. How's audio though? Is it good? Oh, they're running the Seattle Seahawks. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> hey, what's up, Origami? Yeah, so we're going to be doing uh, a round of Blood Bowl tonight. Because I think a round of Blood Bowl takes about an hour, but I'm not sure. Depends how quick we play. How do we want to play this? Okay, so we are a lot more aggressive than they are, actually. Like, we we win in a fight. I think they remember, though, our werewolves don't have blocks, so we want to make sure that the werewolves always have people to help them. They do have a strength 4 though, so we should be getting some pretty, pretty crazy hits off. Um, they don't have a big guy, so I think something... Is that how I play this? Hmm. No. It's smarter to do this, I think. So we are defense. That means we're kicking. Man, I can't see. It's been that long. I can't remember. Offense means the ball's kicked to you, right? Because then you have the ball, so you're offensive. I think that seems right. Um, let's just get up here. So the thing is, they're going to be like running through our lines, and there's not a whole lot we can do about that. That'll be okay. Now, I can explain the positions real quick because we haven't actually started the game game. We still have a minute. Um, so you've got your werewolves. The werewolves don't start with anything except Frenzy. Frenzy is an interesting ability. It means if you fail to knock your opponent down, um, you get a second attack, essentially. Uh, well, if you push them away. Which means if you do the push action or an enemy has dodge and you hit defender stumbles... Um, those, like, so you basically, if an opponent has dodge, you have a 50% chance to force you into a second attack. The problem is you still go through with the push action, which is a little bit scary because it leads you to being in difficult positions sometimes. Uh, this is the Norse team, Rudy. So we're aggressive berserkers with, like, no armor. That's why. Men don't need armor. They've got rock-hard pecs, kind of. Pretty much everyone else starts with block, though. Berserkers start with block, frenzy, and jump up. Jump up is a great ability, because it allows you to potentially stand up and keep moving without penalty, or stand up and attack in the same turn. Uh, the runner is really cool. He has agility access. Um, pretty much everyone's got general access. The werewolves and berserkers have strength, which is really good. These are going to be your, your main berserkers. The runner has agility, though, which is a lot of fun. You can do some sick things with agility access. But also the runner starts with Dauntless. Which is kind of interesting. Oh, thank god. Dauntless allows you to... If you attack an opponent with higher strength, you make a roll, and if you pass that roll, then you match their strength. Uh, which is cool. Basically means, you know, Rudy can run up to a troll. He's got two more strength than he does. And if he passes like a 50-50, he's like, Fuck you! I'm not scared of you. I'm going to punch you right in the dick. And you can do that. That's that's great. Great ability. Most important thing about the runner, though, is agility access, which means you can get on blodge really easy. And he's got seven movement, because the um, Norse are not very mobile. And, yeah, high elves are going to be not super fun to deal with. Thankfully, they may have high armor, and they may have high agility, and they maybe have high movement, but they don't have dodge. So... You know, they only have a pretty good chance of getting through us. <laughs> That's exactly what I was talking about. They only have like an 83% chance. You know, not incredible. It certainly doesn't always work. Case in point. So the safest attacks are always with your blocks, right? Um, 
I mean, I can get a three die block here, and that would be super safe. And I'm not opposed to putting him here. Why wouldn't I put him there? Oh, yeah, then we can just ignore this guy. So a three die block is pretty safe. A three die? You're four strength. Yeah, so we're six strength. I could get him one. That's fine. Origami plays, dude. Thank you. I always get scared when I don't have block and I attack somebody. Uh, I'll probably do about here. Oh! First attack of the game and it's an injury! What the hell, Origami? What'd you eat for breakfast today? Jeepers. And shit in your oatmeal. So what I would like to do here... Again, you want the werewolves to attack, but we're going to have the safe action here. The, the block with block. Take it, and that way we're going to be able to blitz. with is obvious. See? That w well, either way it would have worked. It's fine. Do I want them to stand still, or do I want to push them? Uh, let's push up into their cage. I'm going to go like this. Now, the other thing about Frenzy is normally if you tackle someone and you knock them down, you have the option to follow up. With Frenzy, you always have to follow up. Again, we are mindless berserkers. Well, maybe we're not mindless, but... So, to get in this cage here... Hmm, that was a nice way of doing that. We move Silas up here. We could charge in. I like it. There's no block on this. The reason why I'm thinking about doing it with the werewolf is instead, is if we block with the werewolf, we can actually run the berserker into here. And again, he is blocked, so it puts him... It's a little bit safer to be there. This is a less safer attack, so we'll see. Definitely push it that way. Oh my god! This doesn't happen. I'm, I'm serious, like... Like, there's nothing that should make this happen. They have eight armor. Well... Well, that got really interesting really fast. If this was a multiplayer game, this guy would be raging, no joke. Well, let's get Zelfus up here. As I recall, we... As the Necromantic put Zelfus in people's faces a lot. With hope, he will be a little bit more useful than the previous incarnation. Again, they have an 83% chance to dodge. Odds are, like, they're going to pass that. So... We're just going to put ourselves in positions where we're more useful. As opposed to worrying about, you know, am I going to be able to, like, stop this guy from getting away? Because, yes, he's going to get away. If we can get a little bit closer to the ball, again, we don't have very high movement. That's, that's much more important to me. It was silly to put these guys back here, but I couldn't remember if I was receiving the ball or not. So, I'm not too bothered by it. That's it, like, the more times you force somebody to, to make a roll, obviously, the better chance you have of it not coming... Oh, shit. Uh, yeah. Yep. And... Last guy. And go. That was a bit silly, but it's fine. They're gonna get a... They could get a two-die block on him if they wanted. But we do a block, so... I think this will be okay, though. This guy's probably going to loop around. Yeah. Oh, that's interesting. We got Frenzy, bud. I can get to you pretty easy. Might not be able to take you down, but I can get to you. Yeah, this is... At least, we were, we were kind of surrounding them. Um, I presume this guy's going to try and dodge out and go here. Okay, that's what they did. Okay. Yeah, we still can pretty easily get to this guy. Um. Oh. 
Okay, it's time to drop Warpage back here. Just in case, I mean, this is a catcher. Just in case they go for a pass. You never know. So the nice thing about this is if we attack here, uh, again, the werewolf is not the safest block here. But if we do attack with the werewolf, he has frenzy. So if we don't knock him down, we at least push real close to the ball carrier. Uh, yep, so there you go. Oh, we did knock him down. That's nice. And now look what we can do. Uh, is there any way to get this guy? No, we'd have... Well, okay. So we could get to the ball carrier. If the stars aligned and Acceleron blocks, pushes this guy here. And he has to follow up. And then you have to block and not follow up and push this guy here. This character is dodge or no? No, he doesn't. <sighs> yeah, I mean, things could happen. To set that up, though, sadly, we need to knock this guy out so we have the advantage. So let's go ahead. And we're just going to move people into positions where they're kind of annoying. Uh, we're going to save. I think we'll bring Rudy closer to the middle. Just because he does have that bonus movement. And I might be needing him. Alright, so. There's a possibility here. Sort of change things. Yeah. Yeah, hang on. mess that up. So this is a it's a risky one die. I mean we have block right so it's a one in six we fail and I just need to push so we got a five and six it works out for me. Okay cool. So we do need to follow this one. Then all we got to do here is push back. Okay that's fine. Stay here. Thank you. Thankfully, this berserker, this guy did not have frenzy, and then we can do that. Hey, things happen. Good night, Mister Rudy or Origami. Um, how do we do this here? Straight back, I think, is the smarter one. Definitely follow. Nice ball goes. Fuck. That's okay. You know, it's pretty good. Pretty good. All in all, things happen. Okay. Made the dodge. Made the pickup. Frickin' elves. Little bastards. So I think we're gonna be... Whoops. Accidentally, uh, push the camera there. This is a weird looking face paint there. Kind of looks like he's got a mask. Alright, I I don't know about this, pal. I think that's that's really hoping. Really hoping for a miracle. I mean, it could happen. Miracles happen. Oh, no way. Just KO'd, please. Okay, just stunned. That's fine. Poor Fox. Got in there and then got wrecked. Did the roll. That was a bit silly. I would have kept that guy there. Because now I can blitz... Like, I can blitz this guy, like, super easy. I don't know what their plan was there, actually. Um... We have a lot of options here. 
And I like it. Okay. I think we play it safe and go for the block with the block. Yep, we got lucky. That's good. Well, not like super lucky. We had very good odds of that happening. Oh my goodness! Brutal Acceleron. Bring in the pain. Let's go ahead and bring Borrowed here. Now... Yeah... So here's the thing, if I attack with Borrowed, the reason we're using Borrowed, he has Frenzy, which means I get two, like, two chances to hit, right? Which is great. Um, that said... Fuck. Okay, we're going to be attacking with Origami instead. Um, so, the problem is, so we're going to be using Frenzy, because Frenzy is excellent, it's your friend. Again, though, if we fail the attack, we'll be rolling into a one-die block here, because he'll have health. So we need to bring somebody, like Borrowed, right up here. Just to say, hey, how you doing? Make sure his buddy doesn't get in on the action next turn. Uh, and we definitely want to be doing it this way. This isn't the safest block we could take, but it's the block we're taking. Hey. No, you don't, I was going to say. Okay, that's excellent. Thank God I didn't move this guy yet. I was going to... Now, he's going to get blicked. Like, there's no way Yanks doesn't get blicked next turn. Uh, I could go for it and try and pick it up, but it's only a 50-50 chance of doing that. After you get your mass done. Show. I'm going to go ahead and do something like this, so Zelfus can do a safe block. It's always good to make sure that you're doing safe blocks. Remember, practice safe blocks, kids. Let's go ahead and mm -hmm, get a little bit of werewolf action going on. Let's get a little bit of lineman action going on, too. Okay, that's fine. Do we follow up here? I'd rather not. So it puts me here. Next turn, they definitely... Yeah, no, we'll stay here. Sucks freeing up that lineman, but that's okay. And then we can get Rudy. We get Rudy here. It's pretty good. I would love to get Rudy here, but that means a GFI. Uh, that's a one in six. Okay, let's do our safe move first. I'm just going to keep Warpage following this guy. He can't quite keep up. He's had a lot of brand to eat. It's hard. But yeah, I'd feel a lot better if we were here. Okay. One in six, Rudy. Don't fuck it up. Yeah, that's my boy. Oh, yeah, and then Zelfus do your, your block thing. Nice. Beautiful. Zelfus just, he likes to headbutt elves. It's a problem he has. We talked to him about it. A little bit of an addiction. But, yeah, so after this match, um, maybe we get two matches in, depending how I'm feeling. I think think. Don't quote me. We might be getting a little bit of Zelfus action tonight. And if we don't, um, then I might fire something else up after. But no matter what, there's probably something after Blood Bowl. Hang in there, kitties. Helps you're on the same eye level. It's true. Because Warhammer Elves are basically Tolkien Elves. Um, not quite as bullshit, though. Okay. Well, I put Rudy here so that it wouldn't matter as much when Yanks got his face punched in, but instead they just punched Rudy. Which, fair enough, I guess. Okay. We definitely have some interesting options here. I don't know who I want. Either way, we're going to be doing a two-die block without block. I don't know who I want to do it. thinking maybe and origami's had some pretty good luck so far let's try it all right come on origami yes that's my boy all right no dice no armor break but hey you know it's still pretty good 
I don't have to blitz this guy. We can save our blitz action for something more important. Is there anything more important to blitz? Nope, we can get two dies on all these characters. Let's get War Page here. So, I like this a lot, though. Nice. Nice. Okay, that is good. So Rudy's going to try and pick up the ball. That's going to be the plan. Uh, assuming he fails... Let's assume he picks it up. I got a reroll. So if he does pick it up, we're going to need Yanks to protect him. Let's do all our other stuff first. Need to stand up. Celeron. Should give us two two die blocks if I play this right. Well, I guess just one. Sorry, I forgot. That'll be fine. Oh, man! The headbutt. Looked awesome. Oh, Acceleron's down. Or, knock someone down. That's nice. You want to get some gif about here. Now, this is a little risky. There's nothing risky about this. Like, it's two die block, and I still have a reroll. The thing is, if I don't knock him down, we are pushing him closer to the ball. Uh, but we did, so. That's good times. This guy is now free, which is a slight problem. Do a little something like this. And let's try and grab the ball here on Rudy. 67% chance. Come on, man. Okay. That's good. This guy can and will dodge. They can all dodge. Yeah, I like this. I like the idea of putting Yanks, like, here. Okay. Seems good. I don't think I can move anybody else, so... Pretty good, though. We're going to make it to the... Maybe make it through the first half with no rerolls used. It's pretty unlikely for a Norse team. But we've been extremely safe, so... Makes me feel very good about taking the three rerolls on the Berserkers. Alright. I could have played that better. Thankfully, they can't get another attack on them this turn. They can put themselves in a position to mess with me, but they can't get another attack on them. And we're going to see if we can't knock if... Do I go for a score or do I try and knock some elves down? Oh, that's unlike. Lucky. Poor little war page. Oh! Just stunned. Thank god. So if we knock this elf out... Yeah, if we knock the elf out... And we get Rudy here, he's safe. Uh, so, best person to do that. Well, actually, the best to do that is Yanks. So that's one attack chance we have, and then we get two more with Borrowed. It's pretty, pretty decent odds here. The Borrowed sadly only gets one two die. Doesn't get it. Nice. Boro, that's my boy. Yes! Kill the elves. Make them bleed. And then we'll just park right up here. Be nice and safe. Now, we could score with Rudy, but we don't want to because, you know, the more chances you give elves to score, the worse off your day is going to be, ultimately. Um... 
got me to smash a few elves. Excellent. Yeah. So, we'd get, so how do I need to do this? Right, Zelfus has to follow up. So that gives me a two die against him. Doesn't help me with this guy though. On frost cookies. Nice. Okay, we'll just do it this way then. Get a couple more two die blocks. Make me feel pretty good. And at this point, we don't need to knock anyone. Oh shit. Oh. Well, this this guy actually can reach Rudy. I think he was going to be able to. So, yeah, we need Zelfus to knock him away. Sadly, I really wanted to attack this guy, but it's alright. Mm, yeah. <laughs> well, we're, we're trying. I'm really happy that we got high elves as opposed to... Um, when I did my first Norse campaign, it was dark elves we got in the beginning. And dark elves are just, like, so good. I mean, High Elves are good, but they're mostly just good because they have, like, four agility and armor. But Dark Elves are, like, really good. They have, like, super nice stats and skills. Not as high armor, but still there. Just don't die, Oregon. I mean, that's all you gotta do. Your armor eight. Yeah. We're playing a little aggressive now. I like it. Oh, shit. That was a... Uh, they still... They can they can barely reach Rudy. If we... Okay, if we could knock some of these guys down... We could feel pretty good about this. Sungif here. I think we just... We just need to knock these two... Well, we don't even have to knock them down, we just need to knock them back. feel good about keeping Rudy standing there for another turn, which means, you know, we get to beat more things, which is good. Beating things is always good. Shit, this guy can get up to him. Yeah, it's a lot of GFIs they have to roll, though. We just go for the goal. Come on, Frost Cookies. Alright. So that was our re-roll for the turn. Eh, just stunned. When you burn your re-roll for the turn, you stop. Stop having fun, kids. All of a sudden, it's, it's no longer a game. Oh, oh, do we do my favorite thing where you run, then you come back? Okay, how far can we go? That's far. This, this is like my favorite. Like, oh, I'm not going to score. Just kidding, guys. <laughs> Got this. The greatest play. Nice, Rudy. You got some pecs there, dude. Okay, wow. Yeah, you... Yeah, you got... <laughs> we get it, dude. You rip. Best part about Legendary Edition, we're finally getting a few other uh, cheerleaders. In the original Blood Bowl game, like, every race had their own unique cheerleaders. It was awesome. Post-gamer fashion show. Well, with these outfits, I mean, if he oiled up enough, yes. Um, did that save? Yeah, this saved. Wow, that's new. Didn't used to do that. I used to have to uh, manually set it up. Yeah, these guys are fucked. Oh, Rudy. Come on, dude. You don't need to keep showing off. 
So basically, all we care about, we have two turns to beat the shit out of them. And hopefully not die. Because that's the important thing, because we can still die. Alice and Harriet mentioned is obligatory. <laughs> yeah. yeah, that's true, yeah. And there's also... Oh, man. I'm trying to think. I don't know a lot of, um, like, big bodybuilders. Ronnie Coleman, I guess. Schwarzenegger. Oh, shit! They're going for the Blitz strat. The old elf, two-turn touchdown. Which they already fucked up, actually. You can two-turn touchdown with elves, but... Uh, they can't doing it this way. Well, movement eight. Hang on. No, no, they fucked up. I had to get them right here. That's okay, though. They tried. They're doing their best. Hey, look at this. They all just ran away from us, so we couldn't beat them. Where's the fun in that? Damn dirty elves. He's only got to beat one of them this turn. I think we just straight up just move the line up one. So who's going to do our attack? Well, Origami's got the most star player points. So I would like him to level up because he's the closest to it. That was really silly of me. I should have done this there. Uh, I mean, I can still make up for that by doing this. It's an option. Yeah, we just want to give ourselves the most possible blocks next turn. Um, yeah. The order is Apothecary, Cheerleaders, then Wizard, or AWC. Or what, Mr. Zelpus? I mean, over... Where are my, my things? They're not showing up. Oh, probably because I don't have any. You mean like... Oh, shit. Origami plays, dude. Like the order you should buy them in, or what? Eh, that happened. Do I want to be here? Not really, I'd rather be here. Well, this blocks the... They're not going to be... They're not going to be scoring next turn anyway, I don't care, so... Because right now, our priority is buy an Apothecary, then buy another reroll. Um, and Wizard, you normally buy with Petty Cash. But you only have if you're, um, if you have like a lower team value than the other team. Bitch, currently, why are you GFIing? You're not gonna be able to score, so. Not sure why you're interested in that. So, how many people do I get the punch next turn? Oh, you little bastard. One less. Another one less. I, just give me two. Let me punch two. You fuck. Damn elves. Watching elves trip is kind of like the best thing in the world. The order of purchase for team benefits before, during, and after the round. So, like, you can't buy a wizard you can like you basically rent one for a round um that's not incredible that makes me feel a little better come on origami blood and murder my friend Now we got a bunch of people I can punch this guy, so it feels good. To borrowed hit him. I'm really tempted to just foul that guy, honestly. We could get enough guys there to do it. We used our blitz yet? No. That's interesting. 
Where's your slow mo at? You only get slow mo if it breaks armor, Rudy. Well, that's how I've set it up anyway in the options. Uh, okay. Armor eight, 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 eight. Here. I think we do this. I don't think he starts to dodge, no. It's fun. I... I really want to go for a foul here. Is that wrong of me? I feel like that is, but... I'm not sure I care. Who's going to do the foul? Who's a proud and bloody Norseman? Is it going to be Yanks? It's going to be Yanks, I think. Yanks, you might get set off here. You might, you might get a red card. I get told, nope, that was too brutal for TV. <laughs> yes! Oh, the pile driver. No, no injury. Oh, well, I mean... You tried. You tried. Half time. Let's see how many L's get back up. With lock one. I think they have a 50% chance of coming back. So, two L's. Fitty fitty. Gives me one. Oh, that's nice. Oh, dust is good. Oh my god, that's the shot. Ladies, please, if you're watching, calm yourselves. The Drunk Dance. That is what I want my maneuver to be called, yeah. Uh, no, same sort of strat. we much stronger than these guys, so we're just going to kick the shit out of them. And they're just going to have to take it. Yep, I like that. Let's get Rudy down here. He's going to hopefully be the guy that catches the ball. Um, do something... Maybe this? Yeah, that's what I like. So we receive, so we get first turn, right? So honestly, it makes sense to do this and just be aggressive. It's a lot of wrecked faces. We got two guys to cage up. Cool. Now, playing against elves, as the Norse, we do have a slight disadvantage that if they play offensive and we don't pick up the ball, they have a very good chance of being able to get down and caging up and scoring. That sucks, but don't care. Should use the giant man? Yeah. Any of the fighting players, Norseman is not in attack zone, maybe move to the square, the ball will land. Yes, please, Rudy. Catch that ball, dude. Put it right in your hands. No, that's literally what I expect. You only have a 50% chance of doing it. Don't feel bad. I mean, you should feel bad, but, you know, don't feel, like, terrible. Uh, okay. Okay. Mm. Yeah, should have put... This is awkward. Shit. Because if I do this, it's only a one die block. Well, let's clear up the side first and figure out what we're dealing with. That's all we. Okay, Jesus. Calm down, game. Go oh, fuck! I had block. I forgot. I'm not used to having block on every unit. That could be in the down. Either way, that's fine. Let's just play things safer, I guess. Not my werewolf! Damn it. Oh, if I had done that block. Oh, this is just a bad spot for us. I mean, like, I'm not worried about the elves punching me. 
Like, we had strength strength advantage in the middle. But I am worried about, though, is them just running down the ball and saying, fuck it, I don't care. Because we can't really stop them. Yeah. Uh, unless they fail a dodge here, I mean... They only got an 83% chance. You know. Fuckers. <laughs> Shit. We really needed that. Okay, that's okay. Um... As elf as I need this, dude. Thank you. Nice. Well, now, thank God, we can deal with some of our problems. But first... Hopefully Rudy's going to pick it up and then get here. It's going to be the plan. Uh, yeah. Keep shit. I almost forgot this guy didn't have... What? Oh, he had the GFI and he failed it. Oh, man, why do you got to fail the GFI, Frost Cookies? Shit. That's really awkward, actually. Celeron. Send up some good. Um. We care about holding this guy down? Not really. He's not going to move anywhere. Yeah. Let's just make sure our cage is a little safer. Making me have to play safe game. How dare you? You know that's not what I like. Okay, it's pretty good. Sixty-seven percent chance. Come on, Rudy. Nice. 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 Okay. Get in your safety hole. And you stay there, Mister. You do not leave the safety hole. It's your job to score. Now they may have us outnumbered and they might have nice armor and well, they're more agile and they're definitely prettier. But we have the ball and we have beards. Eh? Beard ball. Those two things sound similar. Blood bowl or bees. This goes to show we're probably gonna win. This is, uh, this is not good. This is the rage cage right here. Where you put all your Norsemen in the middle. Of a bunch of elves. And you just kick the shit out of them. That's what you get. Don't go head to head with the Norsemen. Because they will headbutt you. We just learned that today. You learn things every day. Honestly. Not in school. But you know when you get outside school in the real world. <laughs> you learn things every day. It's incredible. Okay. Well, let's advance the rage cage. Oh, this is, no, no, sorry. This is the... What is this? The safety hole? I already forgot what it was called. Just stay in your hole, Rudy. <laughs> It'll be fine. This is important Blood Bowl terminology. Sorry for messing it up. I mean, we didn't need this as much as we needed that. So this might have been silly, because I don't know if I can get someone there. Well, I can if I take this guy out. Am I blitzing that guy? I think so. I think we are. Uh, or I can do this and then put a werewolf there. That's kind of cool. Yay! You did a do! Proud of you, Frost Cookies. That's what you had to do last time, man. 
Uh, so we could do this. Actually, blitzing that guy is probably a much smarter. Push him up, though. Yeah, there's no way to keep my two die if I do that. He blitz this guy pretty hard, but we don't really need to focus on that side. So yeah, we're just going to blitz you. Let's see what happens. Don't roll bad. Okay, thank God. Can we still get up here? Ooh, nice. Oh, that was like the perfect play. That's exactly what I was really hoping for since the start. Means I can get a two die here, so that's cool. I mean, blocking this guy would have been slightly more important, but you know, live and let live. Okay. Come on, acceleron. Slam him. Nice. That's good. All right. Sungif is in a bad spot. He's probably gonna get his shit kicked in next turn and there is no great way for Zelfus to do anything here a one die block into that no uh, I mean yeah no Zelfus you just stay there for now just hold the rage cage okay I had no idea what that play was but I'm sure this is like some supercomputer like war games tier AI and it thought through every possibility and moving here where they can't do anything was the, oh, the rage cage is still happening boys you don't block into the rage cage the rage cage blocks you I love it it's good times we gotta deal with this guy now you little bugger. You know what to do, Origami. Yes. Yes, you do. I was, I was really afraid when I said that, that he was going to, like, balls it up and bullshit. It's Blood Bowl, it happens. Nice. Fox with the rotation. You see that? That's what I'm talking about. Origami has to deal with a threat. Fox slips in, fills his hole. That's how we do it here. Just a bunch of burly men slipping in and filling holes. Okay. Wanna do this with Yanks? Oh. I wanna get some. Mm hmm, that's what I'm talking about. Man, no more elves are dying. This game got boring. Can we bring back the dead elves? That was at least fun. This is... Okay, this puts Zelfus up for a suicide block. I like that. Nice. Get in there, Zelfus. Fuck. Yeah, I can't take that. Not in good faith. We're slowly getting broody up there. Death or glory, that's right, man. And we watch as they, they nimbly dance around us. Well, actually, they're just grunting and groaning and trying to stand up. I like that, too. Makes it feel good. So that means a two-die on Zelfus here? No, dodge away. Okay. That was not the play, friend. The play was the two-die on Zelfus. It was risky... And it probably wouldn't accomplish much, but it would have made you feel good? That's important. Selfish. Which of these elves do you want to punch the most? Is it this one? I think it's this one. I know. I think you're going to have to punch this guy, though, bud. Well, all depends how this shit goes, actually. Okay. Let's play it safe first, right? You move up. <laughs> move Rudy and his little pro uh, po posse up here. Let's 
see how that goes for us. So I've uh, officially started eating super healthy now. As, as of like right now. So no! Don't do that pass. Um, obviously that's <laughs> not going to be an everyday thing. But like I've got, I've got my workout routine I'm starting. Uh, well I started like two days ago. Now that I've been feeling better. And I've got my healthy eating sort of planned out. So yeah, fingers crossed. Fingers crossed. That works out for me. Uh, this is the shitty part. This is the one die block, right? Oh, still a two die. All right, because he cancels him. Come on, Frost Cookies. Oh, that was a nice scream. Hmm. That was mint scream. Hmm. Love that. Get that sound effect as my ringtone. Well, this is actually exactly what you want to do with Norse. You want to, like, crowd surf everybody. Uh, which is really good for it, because all the friends... Yes! Is that origami? Oh my god. Origami? What? It's two... two elves? It's a lot of elves, bud. Oh. It just sucks. This is not what I wanted to do with Zelfas. Um... Fucks up my plans a little bit. It is the smart thing to do. Because I don't think I can... No, not safely. I mean, I don't need to. This guy can't really do anything. Um, it'd make more sense to sneak a two die on somebody else. I think I can comfortably leave these guys here. So I don't have a way of getting getting a nice two die there. So we could do this. At least force him to roll a dodge. It's not going to give me a block next turn. So we could do this. So this is an interesting one. You just go here. That's not where I want to go. I want that. That's not a GFI? Okay, that's where we're going then. Nice. Nice. Okay, that's fun. Forces them to dodge a lot more. All right. See, that's that's an okay play. They know they're not going to be able to stop the touchdown, so they're just trying to hit me a little bit more. Jokes on them though, because I'm not going to score next turn. I'm just going to hold it out and punch them a little bit more, because punching elves is fun. Brings me that that pleasure. And I like elves. I just also like punching them. It's a weird, weird feeling. Yeah, this guy shouldn't have stood up because he's either going to die or get crowd surfed. No, no two ways around that. Well, it turns out he dies. Stand up, Acceleron. You're not done getting punched. Not yet. Uh, we can give Zelfus a two die, which is great. Let's go ahead and do that. And get a two die here. And no luck. So I could just move here and then block, and that's a two die. I think I'm going to go for a blitz, though. So what a blitz is going to allow me to do is... Because I can't get a one die, no. The blitz lets me still move the, these two pieces, though, after. Which is excellent. I'm going to stay here. Nice. And then I really want to... So one, two, three, four, yeah. So I really want to do this. Just keep this like group of guys like not moving it's excellent 
That's good. Now... No, we can't safely rotate any of these pieces yet. Sadly. As much as I would like to. Ah. Uh... No. Um... Yes, we can. We could. Okay. This is a little bit risky, I guess, but Warpage looks like the kind of guy that'd rather be in a fight than, you know, standing around. Should be pretty safe, actually. Maybe safer if I move further over. I don't know why I didn't, but... Mistakes were made. We're still fighting elves. I'm still doing good. And we got one reroll left somehow. I don't know how that worked out. Oh! Damn it, Accelerant. Stop getting knocked down. One of these days you're gonna die. You're only armor 7. Wow. That was 7 right on. One more. That was almost his death. Ooh! Most teams go for a trip. You know, opponents running by you, they trip you. Maybe they grab your arm or your jersey and throw you off balance. We go straight for the nuts. Straight for the nuts. That's not cool. But it is very Norse. The fun thing about Norse is like, it sounds like you're saying Norse. Like, like noise. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I was just saying it there. I'm like, man, it's kind of fun. Nice origami. Give me another casualty. Come on, bud. I won't fire you today over it, but I'm just going to chalk another tick on your record saying did not get a casualty this turn. Okay, how far? Yep, 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 yep. Rotate. I know, Borrowed, you want in the action, but protecting Rudy is a little more important. I know. Sucks, but that's life. Stand up, Acceleron. You're not done yet. I think, actually, this is the Blitz. Come on, Frost Cookies. That was the Blitz. So if they want to dodge out, it's like, it's almost impossible for them to. It's not, because they have very high dodge chance, but I mean, like, this is a really nasty cage to try and get out of. I want to give myself most possibilities. Good attacks next turn. Running out of elves to beat up. That bothers me. What the blitz from hell? Where are you going? Holy shit, he got him. Well, it's in before Zelthus dies here. The whole cage is being messed up. Oh god, in before Zelthus actually dies here. We don't have an apothecary. Okay. <laughs> oh god, my heart. <laughs> I was like, well, that's it then. You know? Don't fall. Yeah, okay, I can understand it. Yeah, let's get a couple good hits. No block. A little risky. Still no block. Still a little risky. Remember, Origami, if you roll double skulls... It's 
fine. To save, you rolled double skulls though. Rudy wouldn't get the score, and if Rudy didn't get the score, I'd be really pissed. So, same thing, frost cookies. Okay, that's, that's, that's fine. Respectable. Couple, couple more good hits in here. Nice. Get a blitz. Yeah, we set up a good blitz here. I think Acceleron wants revenge. I don't know why I ran all the way around there. Nice. Let's... It's another two die. I mean, it's another chance of killing an elf. Uh, here we go. Roll the dice. Come on, Yanks. Ah, oh well. Pretty... Do my other favorite thing. My other favorite thing is when you score, but you keep, like, running in and out, and everyone's like, what are you doing? It's like, shh. What? Oh, he's not doing it. Oh, they stopped you from doing that? Oh. And now we got to watch Rudy do his whole routine again. Sweet loudy Ray. Give it... Yeah, serve him. Well, the elves get one turn to try and do something. Let's see what happens. Okay. That was all origami's handiwork. Oh, shit. Honestly, we're going to be doing a little bit of this. I think I need one guy back here, actually. Yeah, that's that's what I thought, pal. Rudy! Oh, it was nice weather. That's... Good. Good for a game of Blood Bowl. You gonna try this? There's no way you try this, huh? Oh, the pickup. Yeah. I thought they were gonna go for like a crazy last minute like death or glory attack and try and like break one of my guys. But they didn't, thankfully. So, the one good thing about the Norse, okay, they have Armor 7. That's shit. But, the good thing about Armor 7 is the most broken skill in the game, Claw, which is, oh my god, give that to me. But, uh, yeah, Claw um, doesn't affect them, because they all have Armor 7. So, thank god. <laughs> Well, I'm assuming that was origami on front. Let's see what happened. Oh shit, rolled a six. No, I'll take that, man. Oh, we're rich now. Beautiful, got a little fanfare. So our MVP was Zelfus. Okay, I'll take it, I'll take it. So five SPP on Zelfus, six on Rudy, four on origami. That's a nice little spread. We did get a level up because Rudy got all the scores. Horth born Telthan Thor. Who was this guy? Just a catcher. I feel like I kicked the shit out of him. What did you do? Yep, right there. Origami like murdered this guy. So he, he can't even play next game. <laughs> Whatever, he's MVP, that's fine. Oh, that's fun. This guy has look at our team actually. Um, so 56% Ball possession, that's fine. Don't really worry about that as Norse. Um, 62 blocks succeeded. Oh my goodness. Uh, I feel like that should have a second eaten at there, but that's okay. Three KOs, two injuries, 78 yards running. Well, we do have a runner. That's what they're there for. And look, they only attacked us nine times. That's it. 
Actually, if you look at these stats, though, like, 62 times we hit them. We got two casualties, three KOs. Yeah, I'll take it. That's almost 10%. That's pretty good. I can't complain so much. Sweet. Let's go ahead and level up uh, our dudes. Let's buy the apothecary, because we... <laughs> that's a problem. Thanks. <laughs> Can't afford re-roll, but I mean, maybe someday. Let's see how Rudy rolled here for the level. Roll high. Okay, and yeah, just the normal. This is tough. There's a lot of ways you can build your runner. I think getting dodge, though, is just like the super obvious thing. I don't think there's any reason not to take dodge on your first one. Now we get a blodge guy. It's pretty good. Pretty good. All right. I'm happy with that. Team value has now, now gone up a bit. 1050. So the opponents are going to get a little bit of petty cash, I think, going into this. Yeah, the necromantic. The stinky zombies. This will be the next team we face off against. Um, well, here we go. We were just talking about Claw. Claw is not going to be affecting us. The Mighty Blow. Do whites start with Mighty Blow, or did I just get Mighty Blow on all mine? Uh, no, they have no Mighty Blow. Mighty Blow is going to be scary for our team. And they only have two guys with block, actually. That's quite nice as well. Um, and the regeneration is annoying, but it is what it is. Two ghouls, uh, which is good. They have dodge, but... They don't have block, and they don't have regeneration. They have seven armor, so a good chance of us murdering the ghouls. That's probably going to be, like, one of the few characters they use to pick up the ball. They're also a lot slower than us, except for the wearables. So, dash nice. Um, let's check their stats. Let's see how they did last game. So they got one score, two catches. I don't know what the what kind of necromantic game was going on, but they were throwing the ball around. So one touchdown, three injuries inflicted. That's terrifying, but that's werewolves for you. Three KOs inflicted. They made seven blocks, but got three KOs and three injuries. What? But three of their guys also got injured. Three KOs. I think the game just shit. Either way. It is what it is, but that's for next time, guys. Um, who remembers I'm doing that, right? Like, I think if I go here, it's like a load your... I forgot how it works, so I just want to double-check before we call it. Yep, cool. So yeah, that'll be for next time, though. Take it easy, everybody. I'm going to be chatting with Zelfus, and we'll see whether he's going to be taking over tonight or whether I'm going to be hitting up with something else. And yeah, I will see you guys tomorrow in some way. Good night.